fame. Let's go. You know, first and foremost, man, I just want to, you know, Clinton LG, you know, how did you get the name and, you know, how did you get your start, you know, rapping and all that? Um, well, my name is my name, Clinton LG. Um, I got a joke, like I tell the ladies that LG stands for length and girth, but, um, <laughs> but, um, um, it's really just my, my name, my, my middle and my last initials. Right. You know what I'm saying? Um, I started in like eighth grade. I was shy. I came like, you know what I mean? I started yeah. coming into myself in high school. And then we just started running with it. That's what it is. Now, you know, music, like, you know, how important, you know, is, is the music to you? Because your records are very personable, man. Like, I, I could listen. To, every track that I've heard from you is good. Like, I've never heard a wax song from you, and I mean that. Like, Thank you. You know Thank what I'm you. saying? So, you know, what does actually <clears throat> music mean to you in itself, man? Um, It's everything. If, if I don't have music, I don't got shit. Like, mm. music is everything, and... That's one thing that um, I pride myself with my music in particular because, you know, I listen to everybody out here and I just try to, you know, I mean, everybody's a gangster, everybody's a thug, everybody's pimping, nobody's themselves. Mm -hmm. So I try to be myself on my records as much as I possibly can and that's, that's all I could bring to the table. That's what it is. Would you um, consider yourself a rapper or a lyricist? Um, I would consider myself a musician. I okay. Wouldn't, I wouldn't call it... I mean, I could spit, I could do lyrics, I could rap, I could do everything, but I also do songs. I prefer to do songs, so just music, music. Okay. That's what it is. <clears throat> now, um, you know, now the last, the last joint that that we had, what was the name of the uh, the last tape? Uh, the last, the last project yeah. I did. Um, that was the answer. That the was, answer. That was my first official project. You know, I, I think it was just a. What you mean it wasn't? <laughs> That was my first. That was my first. Chill. Yeah. Oh, okay. Well, before Clinton That's LG, right. I had okay. another name. Yeah. And, and I had put out a project. It was called Prelude to Greatness. Okay. But I, I wanted to revamp my image and everything. Yeah. So the answer, the first Clinton LG project. You know, the answer is the first joint that I'm familiar with. Um, now I, I feel like the project was very slept on. You know. Um, why do you think that like the people didn't catch on? Because it's still a good project to this day. Yeah, um, you know what I'm saying? I think part of it, I think it was two main reasons. I think part of it was is my fault. It was promotion. Mm -hmm. You know, the promotion wasn't exactly where I would have liked it to be. And, you know, it is what it is. And the other part is this, it, it wasn't really what was, it didn't really fit with everything else that was coming out yeah. locally and mainstream. It was very, it had its own lane. It was very mellow. It wasn't really any hype tracks on there. Anything. It was. It was real personal. True. So I just, you know, I think that's gonna be one of those joints that years down the line, when people revisit my old shit, and like, yo, the answer was yeah. that shit. Yeah, they probably really appreciated yeah. it at that time. Yeah, that's what it is. Now the new joint is Spiked Coffee. Spiked I've been coffee. here. I've been hearing a lot about it. Spiked Coffee. So yeah. you know, you, the promotion game's been stepped up. Yeah, well, we gotta, you know we gotta learn from our mistakes. Yeah. Know? Now you know, tell me about you no know, Spiked Coffee. What the hell is Spiked Coffee? Spiked Coffee. And you know, Spiked Coffee <laughs> is exactly what the <laughs> name oh, is. Oh shit! <laughs> no comment. But um, Spiked Coffee. Um, it basically the whole idea is to fuck you up and wake you up at the same time. Mm. So. Um, I actually came up with the title. I was chilling with my boy, and we just had, literally, we just had Sprite Coffee, and we was turned up. So um, I, I just wanted, I felt so inspired and so drunk that I just wanted <laughs> to do a project, you know, based around that mm. idea. And it actually came into itself and became something completely different, and I just love what it is. It's very ratchet, and Word. it is real, real as fuck. That's so. what it is. Now, you know, <clears throat> how does the Sprite Coffee differ from the answer? Um, in, in actuality, it's it's kind of like two different artists made. Mm. Like I said before, it's very mellow. It has its own lane. It's it's more boom bap hip hop. 
you know, it was more like that underground. This is a little bit more mainstream, I say, a little radio friendly, but it still has the lyricism. It's just, it's a little bit more hype. Especially the first half is, is very ratchet. Um, I did that purposely. It's a little more contemporary. Okay. And um, it's just, it's just it's a whole nother animal. That's what it is, man. <laughs> now, here's the list of songs that you sent. Okay. So, what you want to set off with, man? Let's, let's um, set off with a record. What's the set off record for that? We can set it off with an exclusive. Okay. This, this is not nowhere but here. Wow. Because, you know, I want to say something. Yeah, My name is Rum is here. Man. Rum is here. <laughs> and, and the last time I was here, I, I kept promising I was going to have a, an exclusive. Okay. So, and. So, you are saying that you brought it to the right place. I brought an exclusive. Thursdays, 8 to 10. On the Heavy Bag <laughs> Show, who gets all the exclusive shit. Shout the rum though. <laughs> so, you know, what's the name of this joint? Um, it's called All My Life. Okay. All My and Life is it's actually featuring um Most and Ever L from the Santa Solemn Camp. Shout okay. out to Santana. I know he was up here um a few San weeks ago. Mantana. Yes, sir. Um Same. so you know, we always working together. We linked up and we we, we came out with a bag. Good dude. Very so he's definitely, definitely another another engineer that I co sign. Oh yeah. So um, let's get into that. Is that okay with you, Mrs. That's perfect. That's what it is, man. So all my life, all my life. Let's go. Yeah, fifteen. Oh, At yeah. morefe.com. Can I shout out the producer for that record? Go ahead, man. What you uh, want? What's his the name? Producer of all my life is my homie from. Uh, he's from Shottown, Chicago. His mm. name is Jay Philly. He actually did a few joints on the answer. But wow. he's somebody that I work with um, frequently. That's what it is. So yeah, he's he's very talented. Let's go. As far as producers I work with, like um, I'm, I'm like the internet is a very yeah. great thing, and and it helps you connect with people from all over, so you can get talent from all over the world. Mm. You know, you don't you don't got to be just limited to to Jersey City or wherever you're from. You could you know work with anybody. That's what it is. Now now has the social, you know, media network and shit like that helped you or has it? Yeah, it, it's it's helped a lot because um like I said, you get to you get to reach people everywhere. You know, you look at you could look at your stats of your plays, where they're coming from. You get to see, all right, not only are you touching the city, you touching the country, you could touch the world potentially, you know what I'm saying? So and I've seen, you know, plays from, you know, different countries and everything and it's crazy. The internet like really helps you Broaden your 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 brand. That's right. what it is. What you just what you just hire me up? I said okay. Sound better. Oh, I'm talking too. Thank up. you. Nah, I got you. But um, now you know what, what happens like if somebody out there like you know you work with a producer from Chicago, different. What happens if he send you some whack shit? I just won't use it. You won't use it. I, and and most you, of the producers that I work with are, it's not like me just hitting up random people. Okay. Like I already. You know, work with them for okay. a while, and I have relationships. So they know with what them. you like. So yeah, and even if they send me, I, I have that relationship. Where I'm like, I right, this shit is cheeks. What else mm -hmm. you got? You know what I'm saying? Sure and there's no hard feelings anyway. You know what I'm saying? So it's just about is having a relationship with the people you work with, because you know that way you won't have to deal with bullshit music. That's what it is. Now, as far as like beats and stuff like that go, I mean, you know, what what type of beats and you know what inspires you? Inspires you to like write that song, like some, some, the records you write, like what drive, what keeps you driving? Well, on top of uh, you know life and personal situations that could inspire a particular record, I'm inspired by other music. You know, like I, it, it's times when I have like writer's block and droughts, and that's usually when it's like a whole bunch of whack shit out. Mm. So I'm inspired by good music, not only you know my music, but you know my peers, whatever's on the radio, or whoever's out. I just love music. Mm. So let's oh, take this phone call. call Yo, 15 minutes of fame, what's up? Good, you guys. You have them there, Black. I don't love them, boy, Clint. What up, what up? What up? TBSK was good. I'm off that fight coffee right now. That's what's good. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Skiing. That's what, that's what it is, man. Lou, yeah, it was good, though. It was good. It was good, Black. You know. Spike Coffee, we on it. How far down? You already know. Hey, yo, what, what, what's it about LG, man, that, that makes you want to fuck with him, man, like lyrically and stuff like that, man? What's it about his music, man? Nah, he, he, he just keeps it real. It, it's no gimmick. He's just, he's just a real person. 
That's what it is, man. But yo, good looking on the call, man. Alright. That's what it is. Shout out to Louis Ad, man. Yo, I got mad respect and love for Jersey Louis. City. He support everybody. Ain't hey, stay out of the beef. You know what I'm saying? Watch that boy grow up, man. And he got music. Yeah, he, he got, got some, some shit. shit. I haven't really got to sit down with him and, yo, and vibe with him. But he got some shit. Okay. Like Louis got some shit. That's what it is. He on oh, Spike yeah, Coffee. And too? he's on Spike Coffee. Is it if you got the record or not? No, nah, we don't okay, got that. You, say, got, you, know, perfect, you gotta wait for that. You know, that drop. was a perfect uh, you know. We gotta wait that no, that that one the record that he's on too. Yeah. That's that shit is powerful. What makes a powerful record? Um it gotta be something that people could connect to. Mm. It gotta be and it it's one of those things where words really can't describe, you kinda just know it when you feel it. Not when you hear it, but yeah. when you feel it. Like when you feel that shit, it's just like all right. Or and, and that's really that's ain't no other way about it. That's what it's. What's your favorite joint <clears throat> on Spike Coffee? Um, actually, one of my favorite ones was the joint we just played all my okay. life because that one that one came together real nice. And um, most of it, unlike the answer, most of it is actually industry beat. So the fact that that's completely all original and it came together the way it did, that's really one of my favorites. But um. I can't really call it like I don't want to sound narcissistic, but yeah. from from front to back, like Word. it's it's that shit. That's what it is. So you don't gotta skip no songs. Hopefully not, no. Nah. Mm. And now is that what you were shooting for when you made this joint? I mean, I mean, it's hard to say because part of me wants to say yeah, like you don't want to have a, a joint, you don't want to have a project that got sleepers on it, like yeah. All right, right. skip. But at the same time, like I can only make what what I'm feeling, so. What I could be feeling might not necessarily be what the next person is feeling, but I, I think, you know, I had a little Illuminati listeners, you know, here and there. I had a little secret listeners, okay. and I got good reactions. So it's 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 going to be one of those joints where you can't you can't hit that skip. That's what it is, man. Um, now features. I mean, who, who is anybody else on Spike Cup? We got Louis Yeah, oh, we yeah. got Asylum Can. Who else we got on? Um, there? Yeah, aside from Most and, and Ever L on the San Asylum. Um, you know I had to have my big brother Gats on there. Gats! He's on two tracks, actually. Yo, Gats, my favorite artist from Jersey City. Yeah, you know, Gats. That's some real shit. Gats is, is a legend. Word. So, you know, I had to have him on there. He wasn't on the answer, and, you know, that didn't come together, you know, the way I wanted it to, but, you know, I made up for lost time because I got him on two. I got um, Louis Ave, and I also got... Um, this chick, TRB, they're all in the same track. Mm. Um, I think that's really it. I wanted to have more features than the last project, okay. but I ain't wanted it to be oversaturated because, you know, it is. you know, actually singing on the, um, All My Life. She's not credited, but she's on okay. there. She came through and did her thing. Mm -hmm. That's what it is, man. Um, now, next joint, what, we, what, what you want to go with? I mean, I just, I'm going to play some music, man. Play some music. Let's play two joints, matter of fact. man. We're running a little, little late because of, of the issues, but let's so get into good. two joints, man. What you want to get I into? mean, you know, since we in the Spike Coffee vibe, we could get into the dumping, which is the first single off there. Okay. That's, you know, the video's coming soon. Video shot by Haas, right? Haas outside the okay. grindhouse. Let's go! Sam Montana. You know what I'm saying? El Jizzle back in the building. Yes, sir. Now, I want to talk about where you come from, man. Um, you know, the Jersey City whole rap scene uh -huh. and stuff like that. You know, you don't get involved with the bullshit. I'm a house nigga. You know what I'm saying? I'm a house nigga. <laughs> I, don't, I don't got time for that. Like, I come out. <laughs> I, I come out when I, when I got to make noise musically and, and I go back in the house. Like, that shit is not for me. Like, That's what it is. I, I'm, I'm from all over Jersey City. I done seen it all, been around it all. But, you know what I mean? At the end of the day, I'm myself. That's not for me. That's what it is. Now, Spike Coffee. Do yeah. we have a date yet? Independence Day. July 4th. July 4th. Mm. July 4th. I mean, why not make it a holiday? How the fireworks going? Word. Cookout music. You got to throw in a cookout? We might be throwing a big cookout. Word. Everybody's invited. That's what it is. Aww. Let's go! <laughs> 
I know eight. You gonna be there, right? Yes, Ooh, I man. am. Where would I? You gonna bring some ratchet friends? What you do? No, I don't have ratchet friends. Whatever. I don't. Whatever. Why I gotta have ratchet friends? Because you from Jersey City. Just because I'm from Jersey City don't you mean that. You trying to say you ratchet? No, I'm not I trying to say you ratchet. I have ratchetness you inside of ratchet. me sometimes. <laughs> Word up. What you think about ratchet chicks, man? I think they're a great source of entertainment. Word. They're hilarious. <laughs> Ratchet, you said it so ed- ratchet, educated, like. ratchet people who keep me entertained on Instagram all day. I think I need a ratchet chick. I don't think you need any more ratchet chicks. Why? <laughs> are, you, <laughs> are you implying that I have ratchet chicks? You have plenty of ratchet chicks. <clears throat> yes, sir. <laughs> no. Nah. But um, that's another thing. Like with music, you know, ladies, how would they, you know, Taking the music, do they, do they get a lot of um, opinions from some ladies. I mean, you know, I have, I have, you know, a couple, you know, joints for the ladies and stuff. I had the fall in love joint on um, the answer. This one, I got one that's called Up with You. I think that a lot of ladies is gonna like. But in general, from you know my experience, ladies love lyrics. Mm. You know, so you know, you just keep it real. Anybody can relate. Music doesn't have a gender, so you know, that's what it you is. got some shit. Everybody can fuck with. It. Right. That's what it is. Now, um, you know, summertime music, you know, with, with that, you know, July 4th, you know, Heart of the Summer. Yeah. Shooting for with this album, the yeah. summertime, you I, know. It's, it's going to be, it's going to be a bit, because like, I tried to do that with the answer, but I'm, it came out in the fall, which was better because it was fall music. It was more, mm. you know, it was cold. Um, the, the first half of Spike Coffee, without a shadow of a doubt, is summer music. Like, mm. it's, 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 it's that cookout, turn up, get drunk. Smoke weed, have fun, music, and then you know it sobers up. That was the point of the tape, Word. you know. Mm-hmm. That's that's the that's the liquor in the coffee, and then you know it starts to sober up towards the end of the project, and that's really what I tried to embody, and I think I, I did it successfully. So it's gonna be a summer joint, but it's gonna be something that you could bang out for for a minute. That's what it is, man. Now, um, you know, I know the first single is the dumping joint. Dump in you know, and dump in. Yeah, can and we, you know, expect any other, you know, videos or? Uh, well, uh, the dumping video is gonna be coming soon. Mm-hmm. We just got word that it's actually done, so okay. we're gonna check it out. Um, the All My Life is gonna be the next big record that we're gonna push. Um, so it's definitely gonna have to have a crazy video for that. Word. Yeah. But I want to do at least three or four videos, That's at least weird. for Spike Coffee. We're gonna really push it through the whole summer. True. So. Now, another thing I noticed, um, album sounds good. Mix very good. Yes. You know what I'm saying? Stuff like that. You know, videos quality. I know how's quality work. You know. You know, how how, how was, you know, how important is that? You it's, know what I'm saying? Having a good engineer mm-hmm. with, you know, you be, you be on Santana, right? Sam Mantana yeah. is, first of all, I want to give a big shout out because he, he did both my projects and he did a, a right. spectacular job on both of them. But as far as quality, it's, kind of, it's, it's big. Like, I'm very... Even like outside of music, I just try to be as professional as, pro- as, as possible with all my interactions. So right. if I'm going to be taking music seriously and professionally, it's got to sound like that. It's got to look like that. So over almost anything other than how, you know what I mean, some real shit, you can't, you know, shop to a label or something with something that sounds like you recorded it in front of a do-rag in a computer mic. So you got to, you know, you got to come correct. That's what's up. Um... Who who you want to work with, you know, um, locally, nah, non locally, Any, um, anybody out there that I want to want to work with? Yeah. Um, I'm first of all, I want to say I'm open to working with anybody as long as they got something that I could vibe with and I see myself getting on, and you know, it's just good music. I work with anybody, but you know, recently I've been linking up with a lot of people that I wanted to work with. I do want to work with. Um, Fuck Teflon. Mm. He was actually supposed to be on the dumping, but the timing didn't work out right. So okay. we might do. A, I might do a remix and just reach out to him again. Um, well, well, if you don't need to reach out to him, what if his home studio was right here? Did you know that? I did not know that. Fuck Teflon. Well, then you know what? We can, so we're we gonna make that happen. We can make that happen. Um, so his engineer is in the building. We're gonna talk about that as soon as you get off the show. All right, we can do that. All right. So um, fuck Teflon. Be prepared. Yeah, he's got some shit. I've been listening. Yeah. Um, Louis, 
I work with Louis all the time. We got a whole bunch of shit in the stash. I just like working with people that make good music. Yeah, that's what's up. You know, it doesn't matter how ignorant it is. Oh, shit. <laughs> I, love, I love ignorant music. Ignorant too, music is selling right it, now. It's, so. it's yeah, good, right? but you know, it's just gotta it, you gotta take it. And now, now, the ladies, what are the ladies looking for nowadays, man? I wanted to ask you that. You know what? I will be the first one to tell you to let you know that I don't know what the hell is going on right now <laughs> on mainstream music. I really don't. I I don't listen to it. You got people just. Do you pop mollies? No. 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 I just found out what so they you were. Don't sweat. I sweat because of heat, not because okay. of mollies. I was just I was just curious. Thanks. <laughs> No, I don't. I really don't know what's going on. You know how I find out about like what's going on, Instagram, and because everybody putting the lyrics up yeah. and the little memes and everything. That's right. how I find out. But I want the music to go back to like basically what you're doing, the the beat, the lyrics, because you know. How you call us dirty hoes, slapping <laughs> yeah. with a dick, all types of shit. We fucks with you. Right. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'm we will go out there. Beat and just come out with a song called Come Bucket. And it's just gonna Word is hilarious. going to sell. Damn. <laughs> and crazy. we will support you. Damn. Upper management was like, no, you not. <laughs> <laughs> you know, shout the upper management in the building. It's LG. So, you know. But um, come on, man. We got some more music to play, man, for the so, listeners. You know, what you um, want to get into? Let's throw it back. Um... Matter of fact, nah, let's get into the For the Love freestyle that I did. Okay. Because I, I, that one got a lot of love, too. For the Love? Yeah, we can do the For the Love. Let's get into that, man. For the Love, man. Let's go, man. 15 Minutes of Fame. Spike Coffee, July 4th. Let's yeah, go. <laughs> Big shout out to Virgin Mobile. Word. Hey, hey, they're not sponsoring us. They're sponsoring right. me right now. So. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Shout to them. But, uh, Spike Coffee, man. Spike Coffee. July 4th. July 4th. Fireworks. Now, um, upper management, is there anything we missed, yo, that we need to talk about? You sure? What about you, other upper management? <laughs> you good, G? <laughs> you, don't got nothing, you don't got nothing to say about Clinton, LG, yo? Ain't got no dirt or nothing on? Talk about? He did, yo. Ratchet. Aww. He did. came a long way. He got my support, though, for real. <laughs> Thank you. I mean man. that, man. I, I mean, I try to be... You know? I, I get told I'm an asshole a lot, but I, I really try to be as humble as possible. Why are you an asshole? Yeah, Because well. I, I, I Lakey, am I a fucking asshole? No, I'm saying I'm I'm an asshole. I know, That's but I, I'm, I'm a real asshole. You ain't no asshole. I, I, like well, the I'm, nicest guy I've ever met in my life. To, I try to be humble. I, I have, you know, chilled out for emotional reasons because, you know, just to, you know, get people to pay attention. Just smile a little more. You know, that's it. Smile you gotta, in your face. You got to be gangster. You yeah. got to be Mimo, but Yeah, no. well, what do you think? What do you think about, you know, the whole rapid image nowadays, man? I mean, I think um, screenshots is really threatening that. Mm. Mm. <laughs> really? Mm. I think screenshots is really threatening Preach. that. But, um, um, I mean, if you got and you got to have some sort of image, I, I get that because, you know, you got to pay the bills. But it's it's got to be to certain some point because you got people that's portraying a lifestyle that they not really live in, and then that could get you in a lot of trouble. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Yeah. And and that's where you know starts to go left. So it, it's kind of a double edged sword, two way street. I don't know. I can't call it. I'm just I'm me. So. So yeah. if you were to um, if you a major record label wanted to sign you, it was like you know we, you were great with everything. You just now got to wear jeans that grab your balls and <laughs> and you gotta wear a leopard print all the time and then we're gonna make we're gonna give you like a three hundred thousand dollar advance for your first time what would you do um that 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 would have to be negotiable because <laughs> you know I like, I like my balls to be able to breathe <laughs> you know the other stuff doesn't really bother me too much but yeah. as long as you know i have ball space that i'm no gonna... no your balls can't breathe at all you gotta walk like... three hundred thousand <laughs> You know, I be in some motherfucking leopard print. I don't know about y'all. <laughs> Call me what the fuck you want. You been calling me Mister Three Hundred Thousand. <laughs> you feel me? So, but yeah, you know, and style too. Like you don't got the big chains yeah, you don't. and the no. big watches. No. You know what I'm saying? You know, as far as that goes, like you know, image. What do you think about images? Um, again, same thing. Like I don't have nothing against it. You yeah. know, like. If that's what you do, that's what you do. Like I'm not going to sit here and shun that because, 
you know, back in the prelude to greatness days, I was I had chains on and everything yeah. too. But uh, you know, at the end of the day, no. But at Uh-oh. the end of the day, <laughs> <laughs> but at the end of the day, you know, like that's not me. You know, and maybe when I have a little bit more bread in my pocket, that might be me because you or, know you could do that. But if you can't do that, don't front like you could do that. That's just my issue. Right, and I'm gonna be 100. percent I can't do that right now. That's what it is. Now, you know, let's get into two more joints, uh-huh. and then you gonna kick a freestyle for me. Uh, I don't come in. I don't come here and not. Kick That's what it is. Right. You hear that? You don't know how many guys off the air like, yo, you ain't gonna make me rap, right? Like, no, you a fucking rapper. <laughs> you a fucking rapper. Couple, couple guys from Jersey State did it to me. I ain't gonna say no names, but Clinton LG came to rap. So tell me every there. time I come here, I rap. <laughs> that's what it is. So what we, what you want to get into next? I kind of want to get into that daughter. That's the daughter's freestyle. Oh yeah, we could we could I do like the daughter. that beat, man. We could do Let's daughter. Get into that. We could do the daughter. That's a real personal joint, and then we could get into the to the bipolar. That's a classic. Okay, so let's get into the daughters and the bipolar. We Let's good? go. Spike Coffee, July Fourth. So, yeah, what's up with the Wi-Fi gang? I meant to ask you that. Hi-Fi. Hi-Fi, yeah. Hi-Fi we're, Society, yeah. What's up? That, that's, y'all, that's, y'all, that's, that's what y'all remember? Yeah, that's the um, me cool. and, and the producers that I work with. We got okay. a little, little monster squad. That's what it is, man. Shout out to Gats, man. I want a new Gats tape, man. Big shout out to Gats. Yeah. So, hey, yo, Lakey, we got some beats lined up? Yeah, we got some. All right, but before we get out of here, man, with you, man, kick this flow, man. Give out your information. You know what I'm saying? Your Facebook, your Twitter, your Instagram. Tell people go stalk your you. phone number, <laughs> whatever you want to do. Everything. Sorry, is, upper management. No phone number. Everything okay. is is Clinton LG Twitter, Instagram, Facebook. Just you could just Google it and find mm. me anywhere. Clinton I love LG. Love that shit. That's it's very. Maybe like Google me. That's how you know you're working. SoundCloud, Clinton LG, Twitter, Instagram. So, is how many tracks on the Spike Cove? Fourteen. Fourteen. And how many did you record? What do you mean? Just record oh, 14? Um, like, like 20. Mm. So there's some throwaways. Maybe a little more. 20. Yeah. Some of the joints already released was throwaways, but okay. they don't know that. Yeah, that's what's up. <laughs> so, um, kick some kick, kick, kick sound for us? We can do something. Let's go. Yo, Lakey, man, what you got for me over there, bro? I, I want some hot shit. El Jizzles in the building, man. Okay. Never heard him before. Let's go. 15 minutes of fame. Clinton LG. Yeah. Okay. Alright, let's do it. Look, yo, I'm feeling like number one should be the slot that I sit on. Paved every lane, these niggas driving they whips on. Niggas is biting style as if I could be nicked on. If you was the underdog, I was the spot that he pissed on. Rose from the sewers, growth from manure. Nigga fresh out the fire, trying to grow from his. Uh, hold on. Woo! Woo! It. Look, yo, it's funny how Dallas sign can switch up the etiquette. Rear view mirror in the living they fed up with. While being fed everything they need to perceive what they never did. So everything ain't raw. What you get and they stepping in. So step up or step aside. Just get you stepping on. And hope the direction that you step in is a stepping stone. Or a stone's throw away. But don't stone so away. Need a cover issue, but the rolling stones rolled away. When your role model's only playing the role. You modeled after a model, now you playing the mold. Yet I'm married with they fear, and I'm the same without them. And that went over they head, I made an angel out of them. Eh? Dream big, and when you fail, it was bound. You can shoot for the stars, but the shells hit the ground. See, that's gravity against you, and it happily offends you. Remember that role model? There's a crack within your stencil. So, with that said, get that bread, cause why lie what you made if it's a stiff ass bed? Or why murder all your dreams when you can see what you wanna do, but you can't even see what's in front of you? Spike Coffee. Woo! Yay! Damn! <laughs> you can shoot at the stars, but the shells hit the ground. High five. Mm-hmm. LG. I love when people freestyle and that shit be hot. Yes. Shout out to L Jizzle, man. July 4th. Spike Coffee. Spike Coffee. High five. Thank you for coming through, man. Thank you for I appreciate having it, me, man. man. You know, you slot here anytime you drop it, son. I mean that. Have G call me, though. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go!